Can you describe that to us? I just was watching it. I ain't no article had came out just that fast. So I was just watching it just then and I was looking at it like, I ain't no more that many tackles. But I mean, we knew it was third down. I knew it was third down. So I know I had to make a play. Um, and also, I mean, at that point, we were just trying to keep the momentum on our side, keep scoring while the offense was high. I mean, every time we went out there after the field goal, we scored. So just being able to try to keep the momentum on our side. And then third down, I mean, I know I had to make a play and I made a play. Uh, I think we would love to avoid that situation, <laughs> but it's cool to see KJ make something out of nothing there. But yeah, obviously, you know, it's such a special play that he's able to extend it like that. I don't even know how many tackles he broke on that play, but it was insane to see him just get up and keep running. KJ, uh, Arkansas fans held their breath when you went down there inside the five. How you doing? No, I'm doing good. Uh, I actually got a stinger. So all the years I've been playing football, I ain't never had a stinger. So it kind of <laughs> scared me because I was like, it had went normal a bit. And I was like, I'm not, and I break my neck or something. So, <laughs> so I mean, it, I'm I'm doing good. I mean, good spirits. I mean, it was just a stinger. So it went away quickly. So I'm I'm fine. Feel good to be back out there playing. Man. It did. It did. It did. Just to be able to just get the anxiety going. I mean, knowing that you you getting the ball first, you going out there on the field. So just being able to get the anxiety, that feel back, it was amazing. Coach said that basically I shoved all my eggs in on this basket. This must win game. Did y'all feel that in the week? And what'd you think? Yeah, he uh, he modified practices to make it so we would have the best success we would have on Saturday. He front loaded practices a lot to make us emphasize on starting fast. You know, the last three games, I don't know. I mean, besides A and M, we were behind. You know, of getting of getting out there and starting fast as we can. And Coach Pitt put all the good on good periods at the beginning. Uh, Kind of put an emphasis on you got to get out there, you got to get rolling. And, you know, I think the team felt that. The team felt the sense of urgency this week. And I think we knew we needed this win going into a bye week. You know, we're rocking ahead the early fumble <clears throat> up in the Missouri State game. Then it came back, had a career high. Sam, you know, sat him down for a while. What did you think of Rockets for fun tonight? He bounced back from that early fumble. Yeah, he did an awesome job. Um, there's one thing I know Rockets' mistakes are few and far in between. And when he does make a mistake, he takes it very personal. And you could tell, you know, he didn't want to let that happen again. And so he put it on his back when, whenever he had the chance to get open or to run the ball. And he really strained his ass off for that. <clears throat> what do you think, Rocket? Thank you. I mean, just the, it shows his character, just yeah. being able to respond to adversity like he did. Uh, just going on the first drive, he fumbled. And then, I mean, if you, if you don't have great character, a great uh, mindset, then that can totally screw you for the rest of the game. And yeah. one play, bad play might lead to another bad play. But Rocket, I mean, he just, the character he, that he has and the mentality that he has, I mean, just to be able to respond to adversity like how he did, it's truly amazing for him to be so young as well. Yeah. What was his uh, rushing toll today? 175. Down this right now. Oh, man, my bad. Hey, a lot of professional. Yeah. <laughs> you think after six years. <laughs> Rockets getting close to 900 yards through seven games. Just what have y'all made of the season? He said, maybe KJ first. Uh, just being able to just take it on his shoulders. I mean, he's carrying the load. I mean, a lot of people uh, going into the season didn't uh, didn't really know who Rocket was. I mean, now so he's catching everybody's attention by storm. I mean, guys up front. I mean, we're play, pleased by their performance that they uh have happy to you know what I'm saying just be able to create lanes for him to run through and for me to run through as well. So I mean, I'm just proud of him. Yeah, um, he's he's an awesome dude that uh, the starting five and really everybody on that whole line loves Rocket. You know, he's first one to always thank us after he has a big run or has something like that. And, you know, he bails us out of a lot of bad situations and we bail him out of some bad situations. And it's just such a nice gel that we have going together. And I'm so excited for him. I mean, we have five games left, right, to get him to a thousand. So. I think it's doable. <laughs> you know, Matt had the big game against Missouri State in Atlanta. It hasn't been a little quiet, um, but he had a big game today. He's tied a school record three TD catches. Well, what did you guys think of Matt and, and KJ? You, you hit him the first pass today, and then he had eight total. Yeah, uh, just main thing with Matt is just getting him in the rhythm early. So get his confidence uh, raised up uh, and just keep encouraging him. Uh, we know what type of player Matt is, what type of calendar and physicality that he brings to the game, knowing that he can scratch the ball, uh, scratch the field vertically. So just being able to just get the, getting the ball quick as possible and just let him build his confidence up. KJ, you guys were uh, you were 12 and 15 on third down conversions, did the 10 different receivers and had eight consecutive scoring drives. Can't, can't play much better than that, can you? Yeah, I mean, like uh, Wad said, I mean, Coach Pittman threw kind of a little wrinkle in uh, this week's practice. Uh, so just being able, we put a lot of emphasis on starting fast and third down as well. I mean, just being able to look at all our games before this one, just third down. I mean, we was three and out, three and out, not being able to convert. So now just with the way we're running practice now, we're putting big emphasis on everybody's buying into a third down and moving the, moving the chain. So, I mean, just coming out and we did just that. Don, what did you think of the third down score like this game? Yeah, obviously it's a big improvement we've had from the past the past two games, I think it was. And 
our efficiency on that has got to just get even better now too, you know, <clears throat> O-line's got to keep KJ a little cleaner in that pocket, you know, but I think it's, it's truly special to be able to have, to have that ability to go 12 for 15 on that, but we can do better still. KJ two series for them in the first half, the fourth and one stop after it looked like Hall had a first down and then y'all, y'all stopped him. And then Hudson Clark had a pick at two stops. How big were those two plays? In I mean, we knew it was real big. I mean, we just went on the defense just to, make that stop for us. I mean, because we was trading scores back and forth, back and forth. So for them to come up with a big stop like they did, I mean, it's truly amazing just to see those guys encourage each other and just nut up and then just go make a play and play to our standard. And, I mean, we got on uh, offense and drove down and scored, tried to get us, keep the momentum on our side and try to just deflate the crowd. Mm-hmm. What is that back and forth kind of atmosphere game like for you just when the defense, you know, gives up a score and you know you have to go back out there and make it? College football. Yeah. That's what it's about, college football. I mean, that's, that's why you want to play college football, just to, you know what I'm saying, have those memories and just be able to reflect back on it, like, hey, this is what we did in this game, and just being able to be in, in, embracing that moment. I mean, just being able to be in college ball and just playing is, is truly amazing. And then you guys, you obviously need an open date physically, but Sam was talking about he couldn't imagine getting on a playing field of loss and what, what it would have been like back home and everything. I mean, how big is it to, to go to, you know, you can enjoy the open date now because you want, how big is that? Yeah, they say a loss heal, or a win heals all wounds, you know. You feel a lot better going in the bye week, you know, and just mentally and physically you're going to go in now, you know, a little happier, a little more elated to be there. And I think it pushes guys – to have that fire in them to finish out this next five game stretch we got coming up after the bye week. <clears throat> I just plan, I mean, just plan for the scenes. I mean, it's their last stretch. I mean, some of the scenes, it's their last stretch. So just being able to play for one another and also just being able to get this win and going to the bye week, just rest and recover. I mean, that's the main thing we want to do, rest and recover, get back, get everybody back healthy. I mean, we need all hands on deck to go on this run that we, uh, everybody's want to uh, just mentality that Coach Pim put in, just go on this run, this stretch, finish it out. Um, just kind of elaborate on the actual health and the rest that you guys need to make a run on this second year. Yeah, it's five games, um, four SEC games and one non-conference game. It's going to be a stretch. You know, we go to Auburn to start off, and then we got three home games and then finish it off at Missouri. And we're going to need all hands on deck for that. You know, it's four games like that, especially going to Auburn after that open week. It's going to be it's gonna be crucial that we get everyone back healthy, especially from de- defensive side of the ball. You know, O-line's been pretty banged up as well, too. Managed to play through a lot of injuries, but getting the rest we need and, you know, not getting a snap load this week will be real beneficial for us. The same there is playing some, I think, some third-teamers back there. I know they gave up 35 points, but really I thought played much better in the second yeah. half. What would y'all think of the defense, the way they, they kind of hung, hung together and, and, you know, gave y'all pretty good effort in the second half? Just the leaders on this side of the ball. I mean, just being able to hold each other accountable uh, and then just, those guys that did step in just maximizing their opportunity. I mean, they never know when their opportunity is going to come. And some came in this game, and they're just being able to just take advantage of it. And then those guys is also holding those guys to a high standard and accountability when they are out there on the field and just holding them to that stand of Arkansas football. Yeah, they knew the defense knew they were going to break at some point. You know, they knew that they were going to be able to break that offense. And <clears throat> their resiliency is what I admire the most about that defense. You know, no matter how it goes, you know, a big play or Whatever happens, you know, those guys are still heads are up. No one's hanging their heads. No one's feeling sorry for themselves. And they know they got to get back to work on that. So that's what I really admire about Coach Odom's side of the ball is that he's got those guys just so mentally tough on what they're doing. Last week, we got to ask you about the Leaks 374 yard game last week. What have you thought about stepping into that role, man? Proud of him. Proud of him. I mean, that's, I mean, it's a blessing to actually sit on the sideline and go watch him actually play in the game. I mean, just to be able to, he come back to me and say, like, hey, this is what I saw or what you think about this, how you think I could have did this. So just me being able to be a coach and a player at the same time, just to be able to watch him go out there and, and make plays and just be out there and just and just embracing him and just on from the sideline, just truly just amazing just to watch him, how he's grown so much from when he first got here to now, and just to show that all the hard work that he's put in is, is finally paying off. Thanks, guys. Good job. Thanks, guys. Go home. Thank you. <laughs>